Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for Area 51. We are using a custom resolution of 2560x1440p, native, 16x anisotrophic filtering, mint mappings on automatic, CRC hack level, automatic, and we are using multiple hacks for this game. So we'll start with a uh, skip draw range. So I'm using one and two, as you see, one, two. With this preset, it seems to be one of the hacks or one of the, the values that I'm using that seem to get rid of a lot of the graphical glitches. Also, I am using half pixel offset texture, um, special texture aggressive. You can use either one of these three. It can kind of fix up some of the blending issues with the lights in the game, but unfortunately, they're still kind of broken. Same with skip draw range, still broken with that preset on as well. And depth, uh, disabled depth emulation. Now, with this hack, this is very important for Area 51. Turning this on greatly reduces the GPU load on the game at 1440p and also gets rid of a ton of graphical glitches. With this on, there is a, a re amazing amount of graphical glitches that um, make the game pretty much unplayable. You can't really see what's going on on your screen. It's just filled with problems. So you have to turn this preset on and everything should look good. So we've got accurate date fast, accurate blending basic, and we've got texture filtering of display and FX AA shader. Bilinear PS2, HUD seem to remain filtered. Some are blocky, I'm pretty sure, but I'll have a look. And we've got renderer direct 3D11 hardware. I am also using MTVU if you have more than three cores. I have eight cores. I would recommend turning this on for Area 51. This game seems to be, you know, kind of demanding on uh, the CPU. Now, keep in mind, I am using a i9 9900K clock to 5 gigahertz, so I'm not going to run into any issues. But uh, I'm just going to say this now. Definitely turn it on if you have more than three cores. Seems to be, uh, you know, kind of up there with um, how demanding it can be. So as you guys see, this game targets 512 by 449. It means 448, as you see. And this game also, also targets 30 frames per second. So let's check this out. This is Area 51. As you see, I'm just in one of the um, mid areas of the game. I've already beaten this before years ago. But as you guys see, we're in a nice open white area. This is a, you know, a great area to test this out in. So as you see, there's a lot of shimmering all over here with these guys and the machines are on. There's some more guys over there. And there's obviously a lot of things in the background that you can see. Now, yeah, very, very blurry. If you look at the ground, once again, very blurry as well, but if I go to native 1440p, as you see, everything looks a lot clearer. You can see that there are some minor graphical glitches with the lights, as I mentioned, on the top corner of the screen, or top middle of the screen. Uh, so that's a small issue I can't seem to figure out, but everything else looks pretty accurate, which is good. Everything looks a lot clearer as well. There's some aliens right here trying to attack my teammates. And, uh, well, I'm just going to let them do that. Let's go back to native PS2, native 1440p, native PS2, native 1440p. You can see that there is a, a fog in the distance effect. We actually got rid of that in the skip roll preset because on hardware mode, it's broken. So that's why we're skipping it, um, which is quite unfortunate. So it's not the most accurate look, but makes the game still playable. Anyway, there's my objective over there. You can see there's a ton of broken sprites as you see those strange lines right next to the numbers and the letter. If I go to native PS2, you can see it looks, you know, it looks more readable. But if you go to native 1440p, you can tell that the text looks more um, clearer, more sharper. If I press the pause button, you can see there are more broken sprites right there between the U and the Q. There's some more broken sprites, more broken sprites. And this... In the background here, this can be filtered with bilinear um, forced, but I'm just using bilinear PS2. You got the button HUDs right here that are, you know, kind of got some broken sprites going on there, and they're quite blurry as well. The HUDs did not age well, unfortunately. But um, yes, as you guys see, everything looks a lot clearer, and I'm pretty sure that's about it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you later.